Hey guys, it's Thursday the 10th of January. So it is mid afternoon, so it's just gone two o'clock here in the UK. So I am working over on the East Coast tomorrow with one of my team and bearing in mind the kind of goals and aspirations that I set for 2019 back in my stitch with me, I was planning on getting over to my static caravan on the east coast a lot more than I have been doing for last year. So with that in mind, I am building in my first trip across there. So what I thought I would do is head over this evening. Obviously I'm taking Daisy and the birds with me. So we will be there this evening. I'll head to work from there tomorrow and then have the rest of my weekend there following it because the journey is so much quicker from where I am to the point where I'm meeting my team members. So that'll be really, really good. So I'm looking forward to really nice stitchy weekend. There'll be no interruptions, just a couple of walks with this one and yeah, just really chilling out. So I thought, well, I'll take you with me um, and you know, we'll, we'll have a chill out and a stitch together. So I will catch you on the other side when I get there. So take care, speak to you soon, bye. We made it. Look at the state of this. What like a stressful little while we've had. As you see, I haven't even taken my jacket off. I'm waiting for the van to warm up. So, so Daisy threw up in the car. So I now I've now got to go out and clean up the front seat of the car where Daisy was sick. Um, she quite often is. The roads that we travel on are windy country roads and she sometimes doesn't travel very well and I gave her her breakfast early not knowing that we weren't going to set off until two o'clock and she still managed to throw up. So it took forever and a day to get here because I hit the school run coming through Scarborough which was not ideal and then got here and my electrics were off. I couldn't get into the outside fuse box so luckily one of the guys was still around on site to come and get into the outside fuse box, re-trip the mains for me so I could actually get some lights on. Apparently there's been some sort of electric problem to do with the site, nothing to do with my van but obviously that's triggered everything to go off so that had knocked the boiler out. So I went to switch the boiler on to get some heat which is why I'm still in this and lo and behold, no surprise, the boiler won't come on. Went back round to the main office, everybody had gone home because at this point it's like just before five o'clock so they've all knocked off. Went round to the maintenance office and luckily the lad who would just help me get the electric back on was still there and he's been a godsend to me and he's got the gas back through and and the boiler is now working so I've just had like just under an hour of fraught, stressed, thinking I'm going to be turning around in the car, repacking it and going all the way home again tonight, which would have been far from ideal. So I'm a bit, oh God, I was a bit stressed, so I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> it's really wiped me out, honestly. It's taken its toll. And when I'm driving over, hi, <laughs> getting, yes, yeah, sicky girl, and getting caught in the traffic, you know when you think, why am I doing this? I don't know why I'm doing this. I really don't. You know, I'm having to... I don't force myself to come here. I do like being here once I get here, but it's an effort to get here. It really is. So I've spent, obviously, this morning working, this afternoon packing to come, driving across. You know, I've got the, you know, I've got the birds here. I've got Daisy here. She doesn't always travel that well, so she's puked everywhere. Um, I get here, nine times out of ten the electric's out, sometimes the boiler's working, sometimes it isn't, so I don't know what I'm going to walk into. And you know when you think, is it all really worth it? And I don't know, I don't know whether it is, but I don't know how much financially I'm still committed to this place if it makes sense and what I would get back on return if I was to sell because you don't make your money back on on caravans they're the same as cars in fact they depreciate faster than cars so I don't know I don't know I'm going to see how I feel and then I might ask for a settlement figure on the loan on this because it would free up a lot of money I spent a lot of money on this for the lack of time I come which is why I needed to make sure I got my use out of it this year but Anyway, I am going to go and wipe the sick up out of off the car seat now. Luckily, it's leather, so it's not too bad. And then um, just get myself set up really and organised. And yeah, think about what I might have for dinner. 
So by the time I've got organised, I've got the bed made, it'll be dinner time anyway. And then after that, I may get to sit down to do a bit of stitching. So I will reconvene with you in perhaps a couple of hours if that's all right. And we might do a bit of stitching. So <laughs> sorry about the rant. I <laughs> just, oh God. Anyway, I'm going to go and clean up the car. <laughs> I'll catch you soon. Bye. Hey guys, it's about 8.30 now. So I just thought... I would come and say hello. I am working on um, Mirabilia Persephone. I've been stitching on her for the last few nights, really, but I thought, well, I will sort of finish. She's on the she's on the El Bessie stand anyway, so I thought, you know what, I'll just work on her and then switch out probably tomorrow night when I get in from work. But I'm, uh, yeah, I'm just going to flip the camera around and uh, and chat to you for a few more minutes before I go on with my, go, well, start my stitching. So I'll catch you in a bit. Hello. So I'm all ready for bed now and had dinner and just got sat. I needed to clean the kitchen area and the, and the cooker a bit, obviously with me not being here. For a while it had got very dusty and just wasn't great. Um, the Sky TV isn't working properly. Way, what else could possibly go wrong? Luckily, for whatever reason, it's just not picking up the signal, but I'm able to play off the hard drive, so I've got loads of stuff to watch, which I'm going to watch. Well, I was planning on watching over the weekend anyway, um, so that's not a problem, really. Um, well, not too much of one, I'll just have to catch up on what I miss and what doesn't get recorded um, when I go home. But interestingly, this is quite a bit of serendipity, I just pretty much got off the vlog a little while ago and then there was a knock on my door and it was one of the chaps from the site who I know pretty well. He has a, um, a lodge here and he's had a bit of trouble with his lodge with damp and and stuff like that and he's not that far away now he's just up the up the up the road and he was just saying that he was potentially looking for a van and I said oh well you know I might be selling because <laughs> I am actually giving it some serious thought now in terms of you know what we were talking about earlier um so I'm going to get his number over the weekend and then potentially you know, find out what my settlement figure is on the loan and maybe, you know, if the finances work out right um, on both sides, he might take it off my hand, which would be really nice. Um, but we'll see. I mean, I'm settled now. Um, you know, it's, it's OK. Once you're in and once you're settled, it's fine. It's just a bit of an upheaval to get here. But anyway, I'm going to stitch for a little while. I am really tired now, actually. And I'm going to go to bed quite early, I think, as well. So I may or may not check back in with you tonight. But if I don't, I'll certainly catch up with you tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Hey, guys. It is now about 20 past 8 on Friday night. So work is over for the week, which is brilliant. So I got back at about half past 4 took Daisy for a walk and then I decided to do some cleaning in the van. Um, I've got like a little ensuite loo and, a, and the main bathroom and I decided to clean that all out and wash all the hard floors. So there's hard floor in the kitchen area in the two bathrooms. So I decided to mop all of that as well and I've had dinner and yes, yeah, so I'm just chilling out now. I'm pretty tired. So I thought I would swap out Persephone and then put Autumn at Hawker and Hollow onto the El Bessie lap stand. So this is my starting point for this evening. So I'm gonna continue and then pretty much see where I get to by the end of the evening. I'm not sure what I'll stitch on tomorrow, whether or not I'll swap it out for the Santa or I'll continue on this a little bit more. I'll just see how I feel and how I progress on with it tonight. So I will come back probably before I go to bed and then show you my progress so far so I'll catch you in a few hours take care bye forgot to point out little stitchy buddy daisies next to me here on the sofa I think she's just heard a name mention I saw her ears twitch so she's been a good girl here while I've been at work today so um so yeah, I'll no doubt be snuggling with this little lumpkins um, for the rest of the after, uh, the rest of the evening. <laughs> See you later. Hello, it's almost midnight, and I 
just thought I'd come and show you my progress so far. So I've been filling in the green stitches and then obviously stitched a couple of horses. I've got to come back and put the Renai in and the main in um, tomorrow. So that's sort of around here I think is the bottom of the block. I think there's some like pumpkin-y type things to stitch along the bottom but it's it's getting there slowly so you know with it getting so late I thought I'd call it I mean to be honest I am quite comfortable just sitting here stitching away but I think it's nearly midnight it is nearly midnight so I better get to bed but I'm just chilling out here I've been watching um, Luther I don't know if any of you caught it it's um, like a TV show here in the UK it is, it is on Netflix um, with Idris Elba, I think his name, I think that's how you pronounce his name. Oh, it was, yeah, it's so good. So I've, I'm going to watch the last one tomorrow when I get up and come back to stitch this. So I'm enjoying my TV binge. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm going to love you and leave you now. And um, yeah, I'll catch up with you in the morning and probably get back on with this. Take care. Bye. Hello, are you all right? It's um, Saturday, it's now afternoon, it's gone one o'clock. Um, so I haven't had a relaxing morning like I was hoping for, so I've not even stitched yet, but we got up relatively early, so I've spent the entire morning um, just organising where I stand from the perspective of selling up over here, which I have made the decision to do. Um, kind of given it some thought over the last day or so and it it does make sense and it's not I mean yeah the money's a well, money's always a thing anyway isn't it but it's not that it's just I have this really lovely van you know sighted here a good area and I just don't get to it and it just doesn't make sense for me to be spending money on something I'm not using if I was getting here really regularly every weekend you know for all my holidays it it, that's and that's what the hope was but it just doesn't work out like that does it so I got my settlement figure from the loan company then I have to give the site first refusal on buying the van but they didn't want it because they, they said they've got enough stock I don't think that's the case I think um, I don't think there probably realistically was enough money in it for them to make the transaction otherwise they would because it's a lovely van in a prime location with a brilliant decking on the front so I, I think it just financially doesn't work out for them so that I mean you know you know what these guys are like they're not going to do something that puts them out of pocket so they've suggested that I do a private sale which is fine but within that private sale there are fees that I have to pay to the site anyway um so in a nutshell i've spoken to the chap who's interested in this he's waiting to see what happens with his insurance company and i mean he's going to come and have a good look at it tomorrow just to see what his thoughts are and then um you know we'll take it from there but i'm going to advertise it privately on some of the um you know the the advertising sites get some photographs i'll come back probably maybe next weekend and put some big for sale signs up in the window with my mobile number on it and then we'll just see what happens so I know now the price that I need to sell it for to cover myself off for all of their their fees that they'll take to get the gas and electrics checked and stuff like that so yeah I feel a lot happier now so I've kind of made that decision and you know if it takes weeks months to sell it doesn't really matter because I'll still continue to use it and um, you know we'll see but yeah I feel happy knowing I've made that decision in my head it has sort of sort of been in, in niggling in the back of my mind maybe a little bit and I've never sort of allowed that niggle to really come forward into a proper thought if you get what I mean but obviously when I was doing my goals as I've said, my diamond painting with my goals for 2019, I did put in there that I would have to use the van more. But then I'm pressurising myself to make sure I get here and, um, you know, that's not that's not ideal either, is it? But, uh, but yes, I am now going to make breakfast because I haven't even had breakfast yet. So I'm going to make some breakfast and then I'm going to attempt to get Daisy onto the beach because Daisy doesn't really like the beach. I'm going to take her for a walk and then we'll be doing some stitching for the rest of the afternoon. So, um, so yeah, I will catch you in a little while. Take care. So we had a lovely walk, didn't we, Daisy? 
So we were out for 40 minutes and I didn't even bother taking my phone because normally Daisy screams her head off to um, to come back when we go on the beach. She normally doesn't like it, but she walked without whinging and had a really good time. So I'm sorry I didn't <laughs> take take you with us, but it's it's one of those days. It's, it's, a, it's a nice day, but it's like a bracing wind. I don't know whether you can see. So the plan is I am going to work on some stitching. So I'm going to pick back up with um my Hawkeye Hollow piece and then I've got as I said the chap coming round so I need to get everything spruced up. So last night I cleaned all of the bathrooms and got everything tidy. So the bathrooms are all clean. I washed all of the floors. You know the shower wants to but obviously I'll I'll go in there again tonight. So I wanted to, to keep that okay. But I have everybody has like um an anomaly donor so I've got this is the little tiny third room and it's basically a bit of a dumping ground and most of this is the stuff that came out of my static van so there's a lot of like red accented ornaments and things so I'm gonna tidy this up in a wee while this afternoon and just get it you know a bit tidy I don't even have the heating on in here so I'm going to try and see what I can get into the cupboard into that brown box just so it looks a little bit better than it does and then I'll have to think about getting this stuff away so I can you know organize this room because obviously even if this this chap doesn't buy it um, you know it's gonna to have to be advertised for sale so I've already taken some photographs of it outside today and then I'll come and dress it probably in the next week or so get some for sale signs up in the window get it advertised and um, get it sorted because obviously I'll bring the bed in I'll bring the bed in for this room I've got some really nice pink bed in so I'll get that on the bed and then that will sort of set off all of the pink features so that is a plan so I'm now going to go away and stitch and then I'll come back and give you an update and I'll catch you soon take care bye hello it's about half past four I've got my junk room <laughs> sorted so all of the rubbish that was on the beds has been um, moved away and I've just got the sleeping bags on and obviously the box that's got a few of the bits in that were lying around but it's um, it's a lot tidier now a lot more respectable for you know people who might come and want to have a look I mean the plastic covers are still on the beds so I don't want to take that off because obviously people will at least be able to tell that these beds have never been slept in anyway so this is how little the van's been used so I just want to leave that as it is so I'll show you stitchy progress um, so I'll catch you in a moment so I stitched for about an hour so I'll finish watching Luther and then I've started Manhunt which is another UK oh gosh there's just jumping on my knee sorry oh, oh. Um, which is another UK um, TV show. So it's about, there was a series of murders in the UK in the early 2000s. And um, yeah, it was Emily Delagrange and Millie Dowler killed by Levi Belfield. So it's the story of that. So that was on within the last couple of weeks. So I've got three of those to watch. So I am literally going to, now I'm sorted and organized I'll be um, just stitching away. I'm going to just take Daisy for a little wee wee run now. So we're just going to go for a little walk so she can do a wee. And then, yeah, I'm going to spend the rest of the evening stitching. So hopefully in the next couple of hours, I'll have some decent progress to share with you. So I'll catch you soon, guys. Take care for now. Bye-bye. Look at the state of this one. All sleepy and warm. It's so all propped under the cushions. So she's kind of between these cushions on her back having her belly rubbed. All sleepy and warm. Oh Daisy, how cute are you? She's so relaxed. I think she enjoyed that walk on the beach. She's just like a little teddy bear sat there. Hey guys, it's now gone about 8.30. So, well, just before 8.30. So I thought I'd come and show you an update so I got a good session in for a couple of hours or so earlier and got this next horse obviously I need to put their manes in because they look like very weird looking horses right now and then I filled in a lot more of this sort of ground so it's like blocks of four that I'm stitching in for that so it, it's okay I mean the time's passing fine so obviously I'm going to be stitching now I've had dinner I've kind of 
got more or less ready for bed so we're just sort of relaxing and um, and chilling so the plan is to stitch pretty much until I go to bed I will have to take Daisy out for one last wee um, in maybe a couple of hours or so but other than that um, yeah nothing exciting other than working on this really so I will um, I'll come back soon so I've finished watching Manhunt <laughs> So I watched all three of those, which was good. Um, and then I have, yeah, I'm on Silent Witness now, which is another TV show here in the UK about um, a team of forensic pathologists, a team of doctor forensic pathologists. It's it's really very good, actually. I enjoy that a lot. So I've just started watching that. So I'm going to watch those two back to back, which is always fab. And then... Um, yeah, we'll see what else is on my sky box. <laughs> so I'll catch you soon. Take care. Bye. Hey, it's half past 11. So this is my final check in for the evening because I'm thinking of going to bed. So since I last saw you, I have put the rest of the fence in and the, the lawn and then continue to stitch sort of around here around the the horse paddocky field thing so it's coming along okay in terms of a block there's still like a pumpkin to stitch there's a bottom of the border to put on the, the bottoms around here so there's not much more a couple of trees up in the top I think there's about three trees and then just a bit of detail needs to go in this is obviously going to be another pumpkin there um, but yeah no it's coming along um, you never know I mean I'm obviously up pretty early in the morning and I've got the chap who's interested in my van coming to look at it about 11 and then I won't be that long later leaving so I should get some stitchy time on this sort of tomorrow afternoon and evening when I get back home anyway so you never know I'm not sure I'll get the block finished but I should get on with it um, with not much more to do so yeah I'll catch up with you soon oh excuse me sorry <laughs> take care bye <laughs>
Autumn at Hawker and Holler tonight, I thought, Do you know what, I might backstitch Lily or start backstitching Lily. So I'm going to put this lovely lady onto my little lap stand and then I'm going to see how far I can get with backstitching her. So it's not my favourite activity, but I thought I'll get the backstitching done before I do the beading because the beading's the best bit, isn't it? So, um, so yeah, I will come back with an update for you at the end of the evening so you can see how I've got on. So I'll catch up with you soon. Take care, bye. Hello, it's 10 to 11, so I'm just coming to you. Let me just turn this lamp around a little bit with the final update of this weekend vlog. So I've done all of the back stitching on Lily now and I, I do think it makes a massive difference in terms of how she pops off the page now I mean not that she didn't but yeah it's made such a difference I mean it's not he's dirty with a big head again <laughs> it's not my uh, favorite pastime I have to say back stitch but it's made a big difference so I've been in and just filled in the odd random stitch that had been missed so from a stitching perspective she's fully completed now so all I need to do is come back and bead her so I will do that over the next day or so and the next time you see this lovely lady we will be doing my monthly review and you should see her completely finished and all blinged up. So, um, so yeah, not quite the weekend I had intended when I set off, but it's surprising how, you know, things change, isn't it, over a short period of time. And that tends to be how I go, really. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not impulsive, but, you know, once I make a decision, I make a decision. Um, but we'll see how everything pans out, you know, I mean, it, it may, it may sell, it may not, I'm speaking of the static, obviously, it may or may not sell and, um, you know, we'll just go with whatever happens, but, uh, yeah, I will love you and leave you and I hope you've enjoyed the vlog and I'll catch up with you soon. Take care guys. Bye for now. Oh.